So we're finally starting to see more representation for fibroids, fibroid related surgeries, and the after effects of all of those things. It, that representation is amazing, but I am hugely disappointed in this article and the accuracy of the information that it contains and just how incomplete it is. They didn't even consult with a physical therapist or anybody that has expertise in the functional recovery and how scars can impact functional recovery. So they really emphasized passive modalities like silicone gel pads, which are amazing and make um, great results for the external scar in a lot of cases. And they talked a lot about rest and listening to your surgeon, don't bend when you're not supposed to bend, that sort of thing. Completely neglected to talk about the fact that movement is everything for scars. As soon as your scar is healed, you've got to start moving. The skin, the fascia, the muscle all needs to glide along those different layers of things. There's seven layers that they move through, through the abdomen, and all of those layers need to glide and move smoothly. Early movement is key, and it literally affects the strength of the scar and teaches your scar and teaches all of those layers the way that you want it to adapt and become more normal tissue. Movement is everything after surgery.